Yes, our laboratory model of the Earth's core has a rotating outer sphere, 12 tons of metallic sodium, and an independently rotating inner sphere. And all the experiments to date have been with the inner sphere smooth, and we've seen magnetic field gain, but no dynamo action. This phase of the project would drain the experiment, extract the inner sphere, and then we would install what we call alpha baffles onto the system that would inject more helicity into the flow, and the idea being that we would have more magnetic field gain and looking for dynamos, hunting for dynamos. This is a uh, storage tank that, that we're going to use to move the sodium from the inner sphere, uh, have it here while we do yeah. modifications to the, to the inner sphere of the experiment. Well, the sodium is like very hazardous actually, and it reacts with, uh, it oxidizes with, just with air, and it also with water, it basically explodes. So this is why we need a tank that is like, uh, that we can pressurize, and then like some transfer line that are heated. Uh, so it's a whole complicated process that we are uh, handling like very carefully. So the two ports that you see closest to the manhole will be used to drain into from the larger sphere. So we'll take all of that sodium that's currently being held in the large sphere, we'll transfer it into the tank with one of those two ports, and then when it's time to modify the sphere and we're all finished with that, we want to put the sodium back in, so we're going to use the one part at the end, and this tank is tilted so that we use that port effectively and drain back into the sphere.